All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on YouTube, and of course, everyone live here with us on Twitch. You guys know what time it is. Two hours ago, Janet Cage entered MK1. And the arena is back with the very, very first Janet Cage top eight special tournament. And I'm super happy today for several reasons. First of all, <laughs> we have some of the most insane MK players in this bracket. Second of all, the boy. You see it right here next to me. He is back. He actually brought his entire setup to Africa just to be I here tonight with every single one of Hello. us. Fabs, what's poppin', brother? I'm so happy to see your face again. I'm very happy to be here as well. I miss you guys so much. Uh, I was supposed to get my setup and everything like a while ago, but it only arrived kind of late. But yeah, I'm having fun. This is my childhood home, literally, but it's like way better now. Last, last time I was <laughs> here was like 10 years ago. Uh, but yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm loving my life so far. You know, life is good. <laughs> a lot of things from my luggage were missing and everything. I oh, literally no. got my monitor and my laptop and my mic. I'm okay. I don't really care. The, the, the expensive stuff is with me. That's how that matters. <laughs> that hey, is the most important Janet thing. Cage. Yes, Fabs. Let's talk about business here. The newest addition to the MK Empire. And I already saw some crazy, crazy sauce here on Twitter. You guys know the deal. We always have one single clip. This time from the boy Sombat. I mean, look at this throw combo real quick, everyone. Janet, oh. puppet cameo. I know that Fabs Sento Heart is having a blast right now. Yes. He literally got a throw combo into star power from Johnny. Okay, uh, I, I think a tweet from Ketchup recently, he said, Janet will test the execution of our community because, yes, this character is quite execution heavy on some yes. situations, but she is so, so, so fun. I heard that as well, Fabs, but the thing is, I mean, we have the first puppet cameo now with a pretty, pretty, you know, difficult execution. That's what it looks like right now. And so we decided, you know what, we're going to invite not only some of the best players in the entire world right now to this tournament, we actually invited eight different main characters into this as well. Let me show you guys the bracket. I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to like what you see tonight. We have Sabi in this versus Rotha. Match number one. That means Rain. Potential Quan Chi even. We have Enos. Of course, perhaps that is only the beginning, my friend. This is only oh, the appetizer. Oh, Enos versus Kanimani. That means Havoc, of course, represented. I saw Enos already labbing for the last two hours to Ooh. showcase these fancy Janet combos. We have Nuji versus Raven Lena. Edenian Showdown. Of course, Melina Ooh, like versus. It. Is it Mother Fabs? Is it Sindel? Is it going to be Kitana? Be. Okay, here we are. And they'll kind of broke with Janet. I'm not going to lie. Kind of broke with Janet. It's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> and then last but not least, after a phenomenal pro competition run in the last EU qualifier, Jackson, for all the Kung Lao loyalists out there, here tonight versus our, you know, how do we, how do we describe Jordan in these day one tournaments? He is literally the day one goat when it comes down to these special tournaments, Fabs. I think no other player has won as many day one tournaments as video games. Uh, yo. Yeah, VGY is one of the fastest players to adapt to whatever the meta brings up to him. He's, <laughs> he's that guy when it comes to it, you know? He really is. And that means, chat, we are diving right into this first set. Once again, Fabs and I, we want to say thank you to every single one out there watching this, making all these tournaments possible in the first place. And I hope that you guys enjoy our first, or I think even in general, this is going to be the first Janet top eight in the entire MK community. I think it, we, the players roughly had about two hours to find out the sauce, yeah, to find out some yeah. combos. So this is going to be very, very interesting to watch. We are diving in chat. Thank you for being here. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. And like you mentioned before, not only you brought eight different uh, mains, but you brought very creative people. Like, all, all these players are very creative with their mains. You know, Anas has been discovering things with Havoc, bottom one Havoc, for like months, you know? You have <laughs> Rotor, who's like one of the few people that has been investing in, Sh in Shang, Quan, oh, Rain. You know, very creative player as well. And Subby as well has been like kind of reinventing the whole meta with, um, Rain and all that stuff, you know, really creative players here. And let's 
go. I am surprised because we saw so much Quan Chi gameplay from Rotha lately, and now this man is bringing the OG main back to the arena, and we already saw the first Janet attempt. Oh, uh, uh, in, in attack, we can see a lot from Janet's like little air punch. It's a really fast ambush that just extends your combos like crazy. About to see right here, boom, boom. Oh, I love this. And it, the scaling is pretty crazy. Yes, Forty percent for that. <laughs> Man, oh, I was, I love I was waiting for Jenna to drop for such a long time because <laughs> it is just so interesting to watch to finally have, I mean, Sento available to everyone. It, it is pretty much a set. I mean, there is like, she has like a little mimic stance, you know, you call it. She has like six different moves in that stance. And it kind of looks, he reminds me of Sento a lot, you know? <laughs> and let's see if we're going to start showcasing that right stuff. We have water bubbles all the way here, left and right. But now, Rotha is cooking. Drop the pickup, but never mind. We are still cooking. Good yeah, luck. also, her, she, I think she does 14% from the throw. And it's probably like one of the best throws in the game. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait. The throw Wait, combo! <laughs> Fabs is, Fabs is already losing it and Rotha representing the arena starting very very strong here in round number one we're getting throw combos already oh my I love this and yeah when she gets in that little mimic stance you know you can do like a sending four I think off of a grab that you can do you can't attack the grab either, and you get like 50% off, I mean, not 50, like 20% uh, combos from grabs. It's just, it's crazy. He Oops. is disgusting. Oops, you know what I love the most? That at this point, this is like an arena tradition, right? Whenever something new drops into MK1, we are here literally one hour after the release, hosting a tournament. And I don't know, it is one of the most fun things we are doing here. So thank you guys so much for always tuning in, for enjoying MK1 with us together. Rotha in the lead 1-0, and Sabi is saying, you know what? Let me bring Kitana real quick. Oh, I like this. Reminder, it is Janet only for your cameo, so you gotta be ready for that. You gotta have the BNDs locked. Oh, you can combo from armor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Janet pretty much gives you combos like into armor from every, almost every character they have it. It's crazy. Another interesting thing to talk about is how certain cameo additions boost lower tier characters. I mean, Sub-Zero, the perfect example, right? With Chameleon. And I'm pretty sure that Janet is going to do something similar to, you know, some, some members of the cast. True, true. Or it's going to make the top tiers even more top tiers, which I think Johnny Cage and Sindel benefit a lot from Janet. Let's see how the meta is going to shift. And meanwhile, we got Rother showing how Rother has always been that player that's really creative whenever new cameo drops. He always has some new sauce, like, I'm just gonna throw combo! Throw combos like that? <laughs> this, is, yes. it, it is crazy. this is wild. I love what I'm seeing here. Don't forget, people. Two hours after Janet dropped, we are hosting this tournament for everyone watching this later on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed your show. And Cinder with the five gifted subs here in the beginning. Thank you. I gifted, I love it. Looking for the hit. Oh, she does get an up punch. Kind of plus on the hit as well. Gives you some uh, more extensions and resends. Rother, seems like he's the man of the moment right now. Showing the most stuff here from Janet. Rotha is playing with so much confidence. I'm already impressed how quick these pro players are able to pick up a new character, a new cameo, and implement that in their unique game style. It is pretty impressive how the character comes out two hours in and they are started doing these evil, evil tricks on us, man. I love it. And I mean, this is all like pretty fresh, you know, it's like, like it's a beta version of what their future playstyle is going to be. And it's so impressive to see, you know? There we go, confirm. We get a burger here. Tries to grab Rotha, going for the MK11 down two. There is the overhead, and this is going to do it, Fabs. Another round for the youngster. I feel like he could have gone into Fatal Blow there just to kill, but he tried to style with the Janet at the end, and he risked dropping that combo. He risked killing just to go for the Janet, which is... We love Rotha for that. And for everyone who's maybe here with us for the very first time, let's explain real quick what Janet Top 8 actually means in our case. 
Every single player who's competing here today can play whatever main character they want, but they have to play Janet Cage in every single matchup. No other cameo is allowed in this. That's always how it works. And I think it's always a great thing to host when the character drops because we see different approaches, different tags, and I think it's just an absolute blast. It is pretty, I mean, it's pretty fun, especially because like, you already have your main character. All you have to do is implement Janet. Like, your, your cameo needs to change whatever you need to, you know. It makes everything more special, in my opinion. You can see the highest level of the players. You know, Look at our community. Display saying, I appreciate how much this stream strives to show as much variety as possible. Every stream is so well curated. Thank you so much for saying that. Yes, Babs and I, we always try to mix things up to showcase different members of the community, different skill levels as well. So it doesn't get boring, you know? I always used to call it the variety arena, you know, whenever we have those, those like uh, sets, it's just crazy variety, man. I've never seen as much Sub-Zero in rain gameplay right. in the one stream as I see on it. So, yeah. Rotha, one round away from making it to the semi-finals. Single elimination top eight, don't forget that. All these pokes yeah, and all this strike and throw. Wait, what? Get throw combos, baby. What? Get throw combos! <laughs> this is Janet. Janet combat. This is what's going on, I'm telling you, man. He's looking for... He opened it. Big whip? Oh, yeah. This is so close. 10 seconds. The timer is running down without mercy. There is the opening. Interesting. Rotha letting go of block here. That'll be hard to it on that fan lift on block. Wait a minute. This might be round. Unless you kind of hit a blow. How much? Kill. Rotha still breathing. Five seconds. He has to close the gap as quick as possible. Sabi running away, playing okay, it smart. Okay, oh, no. No. One second. That's one second on the timer, and Rotha is saying, "Hold my overhead real quick." <laughs> Stop Fight. it! What are we witnessing here, Chat? No, I would be so mad. Oh my armor launcher. Yes, we have those as well over here in the Rotor house. Wow. Oh, and the momentum shift is insane. Because imagine you're Rotor in this situation, you just want to go full in after you know. Throw combo. Throw combo, baby. Round once again the throw combo here it is. Drop the pickup. But I think Rotor has so much momentum in the back right now, especially after that robbery. Oh my. Everything is working in Rother's favor. There we go. Back throw. Beautiful oh, call no. out once again. And Rother absolutely dominating this first set. Sabi already had enough. We are pulling that plug real quick. GG's. We are now watching your cutscene combos, baby. We are elite. <laughs> wow. That was good. That was good. Like I said, really creative players in this top eight. And, uh... Rother is is always one of those players that you're gonna see new cameo, yes. new character. You're gonna have your jaw opened every single time he does yes. something. You know, you're gonna drop your jaw. And I love it. Rotha, a force to be reckoned with in every single MK tournament. I think the community agrees with me when I say that. Let's take a look at our bracket and let's take a look what that actually means for this tournament now. Since this is single elimination all the way, chat, Rotha already made it to the semi-finals of today's tournament. Coming up next, we have a little schedule change since Kanimani needs a little bit more time. Nuji versus Ravenlina is the next set, and that means the Edenian showdown is happening. A crazy good Melina. We know how strong Nuji is playing lately, but our combo warlord, Ravenlina, here as well, Fabs. Oh. Funny, both of them are combo warlords. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I peep Nuji's Twitter, by the way. Nuji posts like three combos a day on his Twitter. I I love <laughs> really like does. opening my timeline, opening my timeline, and seeing a Nuji combo video is my favorite thing. In the world. Yes. Because like it's just like a casual 450 percent, 50 percent combo here with Melina. I'm like, what is this? And he has uh chameleon. I mean not chameleon. I mean Janet sauce with his Melina. So yeah. Nuji, I need to see what you have for me. 
Let's take a look at our chat prediction together. It is amazing that we already have 400 people here in the chat with us. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for tuning in. And please don't forget, if you want to support our players today, we have a little donation goal. That means top one payout if we manage to crowdfund a little bit. So the players have a little bit to sweat for, but the players are here. Nuji versus Ravenlina, compaid with the 35 euro donation. Fabs, I'm already losing oh. it here. Next set is on the way, compaid. Thank you so much for that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we have a Melina Kitana matchup. Sisters. Going at it. I love this. I just haven't seen any Kitana sauce, but I just know Raven Lina has everything that you should. We go, go side. We can combo from low side. It's been seven seconds, and this man comboed from low side. <laughs> what? Luigi? Okay. Tension. Drop it. We got it. We go again. We go again. Nuji, I'm Yo, not even nah, sure if that lying. is allowed what you're doing right now. You oh, what a pick up here from Raven Lina though. Wait a minute. There's Janet. Ooh, oh. This is insane. Breaker. Anybody can take it right now. Yeah. Oh, wait. That is a big, block. big mistake. Did it on block. Has to pay the price for it. Raven Lina turns it around. Okay, not gonna lie. Janet, very high octane, very fast paced character. Combos are just rolling back and forth into every <laughs> single time here. Yeah, uh, Melina gets a 50 50 from her jab with Janet because low side launches. Okay. Oh, he drops it. Unlucky drop. Yeah, but I was looking forward to that combo, but once again, Janet extending every what? single touch here. Drop? Did he get 48%? Yeah, is it legal? There's the Beyblade. Oh. Nobody punishes it. Oh, the pickup. Not punch. Match up knowledge. Oh, the punch. Perhaps what is the I level of it. gameplay we are looking at right now? This is disgusting. Such an evil finals right now. This is the character that was two hours ago. Okay, we get it. Boom. Oh, extension? Yes. We got two extensions. Two of them. Two of them! I'm not sure. I love him. Like, she could get a throw combo from that. We're going. Gotta be careful. Bro, Raven Lina on life support. Noji in a quite decent position, sneaking in that low on the second hit. And that means first round officially secured for our Melina Warlord himself. Melina Combo Warlord himself, the other <laughs> That is right, Fabs. Yes. Always been there. Always been that guy. <laughs> I was also coming in hot with the resub. And I want to read the message here from Compaid real quick, who dropped 35 euro into the prize pool for these players. He's saying, I'm back, Rip. Beautiful. I'm trying to see some goats run this bracket. You are the only one I know who can organize something that sick. Much love, dog, to you and the arena staff. Compaid, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for having our players back tonight. I hope that you guys enjoy the show so far. Compaid with another 15. Wait a minute. Oh man, it is beautiful. Round one. <laughs> Compaid is saying, what am I watching? I didn't expect these combos. I didn't expect an execution like that, Fabs. Yeah, me neither, man. I'm seeing like, oh, again, the low side launcher is definitely a game changer for Melina players. He put out a new team, man. He puts out like insane tech every single time I watch him. He's beautiful. Okay, we got one. Drops it. Oh, what's going on? Right? Oh! Uh, immediately enforcing that down one after. There's the break. Nah, that low side launching is such a game changer, man. Ooh. Again! 
But it's, oh, that's oh, killing so many people. This one breaks my heart. That was so sick from Nuji. Girl power. Round two. He tried it. Fight. He tried it. Try to rob over there. Oh man, you cannot punish this man at all. I don't grab from Nuji. The thing is. Uh, doing a 4 grab on this instance with Janet is way better because you get 14% and you're also plus 15 frames of advantage after the 4 grab. Mm. We used it as a little reset. That was cheeky, but Nuji, situational awareness is on point. Oh yeah, Nuji has punishes for so many different scenarios and again, that low side has been doing so much. The low side is a... Janet is beautiful. And that is the power of a true Rock. Alina main, the random ball roll. We know that since the MKX days, but wait a minute. Reset, there's the little vortex on the ground. Set up! Don't him into back, guys. We dropped those, but we picked them back up. That's how we do it here. Oh, wait, Alina. And you stop pressing. Oh! Nuji is cooking, wait a minute. Only, I mean, even though Ravelina has such a big life lead right now, Melina only needs a few touches here. Yeah, Melina can, I mean, right now, he needs a launch into Fado. There you go, 14%. Throw, why not? Try to shimmy that little dash up. You can throw combo. No, he doesn't have it. Ooh, and then the lane mid. All job. these sad people, they are a little bit too close, in my opinion. And this is honestly very, very intense. Everyone out there, welcome to the first Janet Cage Top 8 tournament. And here is the bracket for everyone who just tuned in. Coming up next, our Day 1 GOAT. Video Games Yo, the player who won the most Day 1 tournaments in the arena so far versus our Lao specialist, Jackson, representing the German Zero Subs team. After this, Kanimani versus Anas, and all that is still round number one. So far, Rotha, the only player in semifinals. I mean, Rotha, it's always been that guy that every time a new character comes, like, comes out and you're like, damn, I want to see what Rotha's up to. He will show you some insane sauce. This guy is always up there, yeah. We need him alive. Now wait until what Quan Chi can do with um Janet as well. But there we go. Game number three. Let's get it. First hit? Is that from a micro duck? <laughs> oh that is sick. That is just sick what Ravelina is doing. Swinging that rainbow fan. Ravelina is so clutch. There we go, blocking the low side mix this time. But that's gonna give Nuji that, you know, awareness that way. Raven is blocking my mix. I'm gonna mix differently now. Oh, beautiful punish. Wow. Ooh, whoa, what are these combos? <laughs> I have no idea, but there is Nuji, the only touch he needed. We spent the entire sauce here. Fatal. Are you seeing how on point Nuji is with these conversions guys? Nuji lately, like in the last two months, I would say he honestly, that level up is ridiculous. I'm proud of this man. Insane, 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 insane. What a hitbox on that Empire. Beautiful. I'm not even sure if that was intentional. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter if it wasn't or not because Ravelina was ready for that immediately. <laughs> That's what counts, you know. If you're ready for that insane situation, that means you just need to go. Ooh. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, Rip. Unless I commentator's first. Oh my god. That is 50% by Dubai. I don't know if you guys saw that. 50 burger. The chat, they cannot believe what they are witnessing. Before this tournament started, I typed in the tournament chat and I said, I would like to see some big burgers. <laughs> Show me everything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And speaking of big burger subs, this is gonna be another one. Extra cheese and bacon on this bad boy. What a comeback. 
On the same round that Nuji landed a 50% combo, Rain Velina just, just claps back with a 45. Final round. My favorite set ever. What the hell? Good defense and that micro dog. <laughs> that was. It was a ballsy one from Raven Lee. My favorite type of defense is the ones that like are immediately like offensive type of reactions as well. This is this is good. Don't just sit there and block, you know. Micro dog. <laughs> Oh, the ball will punish and that EX fan lift is doing wonders. In terms of style and execution, this is the craziest set so far, perhaps. I'm very, very impressed what yeah. these two are doing right now. You gotta have these two in every single uh, top eight. <laughs> I mean, you introduced oh, them again? as the combo warlords in the arena and they are delivering. Oh my god, the pressure. Still going! Oh, that's gonna kill. Raven Lena! Again! And we are still going. Raven Lena takes the lead in this set. That means one round away from making it to the semifinals as well. Or is it gonna be that sweet game five? Oh, forget it, game five? We need to take a look at that replay. Beautiful. Huh? Huh? Oh, chat, look at it. Put a frame on it! Nuji in action. Oh yeah, Nuji, I hope you, you clipped that 50% burger right there. And, 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 and I'm was so beautiful, impressed. Beautiful, Cage. beautiful. Soon and part in the chat saying, coming Janet from YouTube Cage. for the first time on Twitch for this stream, great work ribs, you. best commentator for us, and completely forgot about non-censored <laughs> fatals. Yep, of course, that is the big advantage here during Round our live events. Five. A big shout out to everyone on YouTube who watches regardless. We know how annoying it is. I know. Well, well, guys, we need the, the, the monetizer. Otherwise, YouTube is going to take out the channel. But you know what? Let's have fun. Oh, I think you can combo from that, by the way. Ravelina, next time you do armor, please call that channel immediately. You're going to get a big burger. And again, my full luck on Wake Up. Are you seeing this level? Of, of just adaptation on defense in both offense. This is definitely a wild ride. I hope that everyone enjoys the show. We have close to 500 people here on Twitch witnessing the craziest day one action. Break, we believe. I think Ravenly oh, tried to yeah. micro duck again, right but after. this time Nuji jailed it perfectly. Yeah. Fight. And the funny part is, if Ravelina did land that micro dodge, it would have been death for me. Like, Nuji would have been Oh, my Don't press against Katana with pokes like that. Don't. Oh, Nuji's pressing, he doesn't care. Punish ball roll, beautiful! 40%. This is a little bit too fancy. Oh, that ball roll. Not ball rolling like usual, you know? Krebs, what is even happening? Oh. <laughs> Krebs, what? <laughs> 40%, that's death. <laughs> yeah. Man, How I'm much so damage sad. that throw gives you? It's beautiful. I'm so sad that the YouTube community can't read our live chat. The chat is just saying, what is even happening? This is so much fun. <laughs> it really Red is. Always has, like... These sick designs are these super fun to watch. They need to play, obviously. Oh, little setup. Crap, it's plus and block. Phenomenal read once again from Ravenina. Always ducking under these highs, taking the risk, and most of the time getting the reward for it. Stopping the flawless Nuji. He's like, it's my turn now. This could be. Punish! Oh, he has Fatal. He has Fatal. He yes, spends it. This is like uh, near 50. Yeah. Near 50. This is going to put Ravelina in a position where a mix, I'm going to call it a standing one, low side. Ooh. 52% just like that. And Nuji has the life lead now. That's our grab. That is the ballsy one. Ooh. We're going to a game five. Game five. You try to side, uh, low side oh, twice there. I mean, what for the chip, I guess? No mix. Safe Nearly. chip, and then the grab at the end, and you have okay. a game five. Rip. Okay, you have a game five. Since you're back now, and we might have some new faces in the chat, can you explain them once again how we roll when there is a game five? 
we have to go absolutely crazy in this chat. <laughs> Your volume needs to be maxed, by the way. Your emotes spammed in the chat. And How many? you better put your seatbelt on because this is... I, I need 300 emotes. Just let's, okay. let's, let's go easy today. Let's go yeah. easy. Let's go easy. Let's chat. Go easy we today. need at least 300 <laughs> emotes in the chat right Jen now. Cage. First game five Jen of the night. Cage. Welcome to our Dark Janet Cage Cullen. top eight special. Yes, and if you're new here, so lower that volume a little bit. Here we come. Do not let their petty Lauren, I mean, I mean, that's how it is. But yeah, game number five. We have Gucci and Melina, which is a really classic and Melina Katana matchup as well. I'm looking this so far. Oh, violence on wake up. Wait, not on wake up, on round start. I think this is 50, right? <laughs> a drop combo on 50. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you not entertained? And I am entertained. You have to get the game with this. This is beautiful. We're going. Oh, man. this is such a great set. This is so close. Jump in, and that's gonna lead it to a lot of Damaha here in the corner. Dropped it. Oh, but the turn is still back to Ravenlina somehow. Going back and forth. Extends the string. The rare extension. Oh, this is so close. Not over yet. You guys know the deal. Nuji fighting for his life. And that is a trade Ooh. he cannot go for anymore. Very close set prediction, by the way. 58% on Nuji, 42 on Ravenlina. But we're punished. Wow. Drop. Nuji always jumps back after that string, trying to bake a beta button so he can go for that Sonic Edge Hog move, you know? He knows, he knows. That's a good out. read. This is a no-fly zone. We are still going. 9, 10, 11 hits, and it's still going up. Maybe Lina will always, like, do these crazy combos and conversions that people love to watch, you know? Oh, wait, beautiful. Pick it up. <laughs> the Genix, the Genix, the Genix, Someone the Genix. has to stop that. Beautiful. And then, and now it's Nuji's time. It's Nuji's time. Trade? Oh. I love this. This is so close. Nuji. Can he somehow rob this? <laughs> Silence is loud in these footsies. I'm too afraid to talk right now. <laughs> what <do I> <laughs> Raven Lena going for that up lock first, then realizing that it's an empty jump, and then going for that dirty little micro duck. What was that said, everyone? The most illegal duck in histories of ducks ever. Like, like Raven Lena realizing that this is this is. I'm gonna make I a call right now. This is the set that I've seen. Yeah, go ahead, please, 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 please. I'm... please. Yeah. Not sure if it's possible to top this set tonight. Am I allowed to say that, Fabs? Oh, yeah. Because Potentially. The amount of, like, microducts I've saw from yeah. Evelyn in this set were just enough to blow my mind. Because you know it. I mean, we are doing these day one tournaments to showcase different combos and how the cameo can be implemented on the highest possible level. And Raven, Lena, and Nuji, I can only say it again. That was more than... Impressive is not even the right word for what we just saw, especially considering that these two only had like two hours to lap combos and conversions. I mean... Head off, Nuji Ravenlina, that was an absolute blast. Thank you so much for playing in this tonight. Ravenlina now in the semi-finals, and there's another banger on the way, Fabs. Let me give you two oh, names, man. Jackson only... and Video Games, yo. Wait, you know who Jackson plays, right? Jackson okay. plays Lao. Kung Lao. And, and VGY Loki has like a cool... I, I don't want to beat that guy, but VGY hates fighting Kung Lao, like, like with his whole... <laughs> <laughs> and Jackson, actually, congratulations on getting regional finals as well. I will a, see you there. I will see you A there. very, very Beautiful. strong run from Jackson in the last pro competition event. But now he is going to meet our final boss in the arena, especially in our day one tournaments. And we can see oh. that reflected here in our prediction. 100% on the boy Jordan, who is already lurking in the lobby with us. I see that Shao combat card. Jackson is here as well. No, but Thank wait. you, guys. For the support thank you for spending time with us and of course thank you for making all this possible we 
DUI has been kind of evil lately. Oh, he was lobbing. He was lobbing too loud, by the way. He was lobbing too loud. We call you VGI. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kulao has armor launchers, by the way. He does have armor launchers. He has meterless overhead. Launchers okay, as well. my my yeah, day. He just made my day with that. I thought we see Baraka again because that is what VGY plays so much lately. But this man is saying, you know what, Rip? I got you, baby. General show action. Ooh. Yeah, um, Janet does make uh, Lau a bit strong. It's stronger than usual, you know. It kind of like reminds you of some Goro, but with less pressure and more complicated. Oh wait, what am I Over watching it. here? Overhead. Time for the blender. Give me the mimic sense. Give me mimic sense. Make my day. Uh, we haven't seen anyone use the mimic sense so far, which is like the Sento version of Janet. But maybe people need some time to get into it. Watch out for the armor. Watch out for the neutral. armor. Jackson has that magic oh, button loaded. And what you saw right there was Janet like doing a mimic wall, which means no. you not get a... Ooh, the way VGY always uses that standing to proximity as with Shao, that is that is more than impressive. Oh, you know what's impressive? And it's this this uh this Oof. 45, just like that. One mix is Armor gonna do it for both of them. Tries to jump in, standing to pressure. And just sweeping his Minus way seven. to victory. Don't get up. Funny part here is that without Goro. Every time Lao goes for the armor, he does lose his turn. He's minus seven. So, BGY is a bit happy about that. Oh. Whoop! The pickup! Man, this man is insane. He's still going. He's still going! What? Microduck City, here comes Jackson. Oh, the pickup. This game, this, these matches are reminding me of non-stop combos and back-to-back. -back. It's the most fun I've watched MK, you know. Yes, it, try to reverse and I me. completely agree with that, Tabs. Whenever we see some new stuff, the game is so fun to watch. When there is, like, you know, when we don't see the same thing all the time, when there is something fresh drop in, I mean, that's the beauty of MK1. And once again, the standing <laughs> to putting in work. Yeah, they're sending two into into the what is it called? The, the nut punch from her. She has like a different name. It's like a wins. I remember because I typed it down. I typed Isn't it down. Isn't it called the crotch ball destroyer. buster? <clears throat> Wait, no, what? It's crotch destroyer. <laughs> <Okay>. Crotch destroyer <laughs> is what they call. It. Oh shit! <laughs> With a K as well. It's beautiful. But you know, but since these two are in the character select screen right now, can we get some big? F's over there in the chat for our boy Fabs, bringing his entire setup to Africa just to be here tonight to commentate with me again. Fabs, I gotta say, the arena, it is just not the same without you. And I think I speak for all the people here. We are happy to have you back, brother. Let's go. I love being here. It's one of my favorite things. Commentating is so fun, man. I, I love it. I love it. Especially for the Jenna Top 8. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Where's it going now? But don't, don't get it twisted, chat. We are watching our day one tournament god right now. Video games, yo, the most successful day one player we have. Yeah, the UI statistically has won the most <laughs> yeah, day really one has. tournament. When it <laughs> I saw that reverse 3 0 in the Omni Man tournament against uh, Javier. Still, but don't remind me. I love it. But that is, and again, look at this punish. Look at the reaction time. This is literally what world class is about. Quick adaptation. Super, super impressive what VGY is doing right now. Chat, he just punished a loud dive kick on Wick. That is. Oh man, wait. Wait. Janet, boom, boom. He tried to fatal, but Janet was out. You can't fatal when you came. He was out. Jackson! Jackson! Jackson. Round two. Fight. Did you buy Looking quite dominant. Oh, <laughs> no. Stop it. Another punish. You got K. Oh, let's go. Jackson, show me the side. Unfortunate drop has to pay the price for it. VGY once again in the driver's seat. Numerai in the chat. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you so much. Good upload. I 
Jackson is dropping a lot, but the thing when he drops, VGY gets up and punishes immediately, so he went for the safe option right there. Nah, one away. And leave yourself vulnerable in front of VGY because he does that to you. He does that to you. Jordan is back. VGY trying to conquer this Janet Cage top eight tournament. And man, he's on, on a decent road. What are your thoughts on this tournament so far, Rip? How are you enjoying this? I think this has been one of the most this, fun yes, top eights we've, we've hosted. Definitely. Um, in my opinion, this might be top five tournaments we hosted in a while because I honestly like the addition of a puppet cameo to the franchise. Very entertaining to watch. I'm super curious how the meta is going to evolve because day one is cool. It is great to see. But sometimes, you know, a week after the community, they find out, find out so much sauce with these new cameos. I'm interested to see if that's going to happen with Janet as well. But I'm like 100% sure. Oh yeah, for sure. We haven't even seen the broke. Like she has a stance where she can go low. She can has like she has a launcher. I think only Rothor used that stance so far. And uh, Jackson uses it as well. Oh, and there we go. The last special with dive kick into armor. Like I'm not blocking that. Trying to armor doesn't My work. Mister Patience himself. Yes. Vidu, I'm happy to tell that the ar loud armor in this matchup is minus seven. So he doesn't keep his plus frames after having armor, which is really, really helpful. We're punished city. That's what video games are always known for. Insane neutral. Bro, that is 45%. It's still going. He has more pressure. No, that is... Ah, <laughs> That is too sexy. No, that is not allowed. Video games, yo, I'm sorry. I have to ban you for this one. He did, Round two. He did armor to cover a counter poke. He, he covered also called both Janet in case he does. That was Oh, that was sick. That was one of the craziest things I've seen so far with Janet. The way he implemented that into his pressure game. Something that like these new air ambushes that we've seen, Chameleon has like the air ambush as well, but it only comes with the Melina size. But like Janet has it available every single time, so that situation will be used by probably most of the cast, which is insane. And once again, the chat they cannot believe what they just saw. They're saying video games yo, one of the most insane players in MK1, and here's why chat. Oh, oh. Oh. Don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on Jackson. Fatal. Oh, this might be uh he needs it. Yes. Make him fatal. You have to. Boom, boom. And we get a final round. But do you want to hear something crazy? We are on a level 5 hype train with the community right now. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. It helps tremendously. Keeping the lights on in the arena, making these events possible every single day. We would be nothing without every single one of you. So thank you for having our back. Over at. VGY taking this turn with an overhead is just the wildest VGY thing ever. And I'm loving those proximity OSs that he's doing with sending two into the crotch destroyer, you know, the new nut punch from Janet. Oh, the range on that poke. That poke was paying bills so far. Oh, wait. Oh, this might be VGY time. We went to the mimic stance. Oh. You know Using Janet as a little projectile shield. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what having a central to everybody can do. It's kind of difficult sometimes, you know. Oh. Overhead. He didn't launch. Wait, 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 wait. What is he cooking? Projectile. Throw what one is more. happening? Throw one more. I thought Jax is gonna take a nap here in the middle of the set. Like, like that new mimic stance is it takes a bit more than two hours to learn I'm not gonna lie the time are running down without mercy jump in connect and that's gonna be all she wrote video games yo sweeping his way to victory once again in round number one
finish him. This is the semi-finals. <laughs> Wait, did we get a Janet fail? Of course! Did we go? Oh! Fake. Video Games Yo is sending a General statement to every wins. single competitor tonight. He's saying, I'm going to win another top eight. Honestly, he's our the, the best top eight to win, you know, because everyone has the same level of knowledge. So you just hop in and <laughs> do whatever you want. If it works, hey, you win that prize pool. So. But that was still one of my favorite scenes here so far. Wait, let me see if I can replay it again. That little... Oh, yeah. OS here yeah. from the video armor. games. Yo, that was that was more than sexy actually. Here it is again, chat. Delicious. Not many people do it, but hey, he has it. How did he read the jump in? What what was he reading there? Like armor into ambush, or was he just like expecting him to jump as well, covering every option? <laughs> this is beautiful. Man, what is our community doing? Cinder, thank you so much for the five gifted subs we are on that big boy hype train and i hope that you guys are ready for what's about to happen next let's bring in the bracket let's talk about it it's time for one of the best players in the entire world right now especially in terms oh, yeah. of pro competition ranking kanimani is back everyone versus our havoc loyalist number one anas in this top eight as well fabs what do you what do you think about this and Hannah's, I love you, bro, but they, 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 they keep giving Hannah's all the broke top ones in this game, you know, it's it's, it's crazy. Anyways, have, I mean, let's see a Havoc Warrior has what it takes to go up against Kanimani. You know, kanimani has been on a tear lately. Everyone is afraid to play this man. And he's, he's on Peacemaker? Is, no, is what peacemaker? is Kanimani? What are you doing? Janet? Is this man bringing Peacemaker, Janet? Janet? No, he's bringing Kanji. Uh, good morning. Hello? Hello? What are you here to show me? Chat, 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 chat. Yeah. So, fam, have the, the you already? Can you already Game tell us match. something about Kenshi Janet? Something I'd like. You can hit confirm match. the yeah, rising karma, the little like spirit sword into Janet punches into central three. You get like a forty. Do you think it might sandwich. be a viable combination compared to you know uh, Sub Zero, Cyrex for example, Zero? Cyrex, stuff like that? Definitely need more time. I know you can do the, the, the like the little mimic wall that you can do into Sento. It's pretty good as well. Let's see. I need more time on this, but it's definitely something that people will explore more and see what happens with it. And it seems a bit more comfortable though. I'm liking this. Call oh, backdash. Oh, we go straight to Sento. Is Kanemani going the I don't need a cameo route to win this top eight? <laughs> I think so. Like, you don't need a Kanemani cameo. Is saying, I'm going to win this Janet Cage top eight without using Janet. <laughs> you don't need a cameo if you have Sento with you. Oh, poke into Crush Destroyer. <laughs> I'm going to love saying that name. <laughs> the flawless block. Little backdash tries to shimmy, but delayed his button a little bit too much. Anas, what is this man doing? Excuse me. He did four throw, he would have killed. He would have killed a four throw. Don't get hit now, Anas. Ooh, another poke into the cross destroyer. That's my favorite name in the game. <laughs> my favorite move in the game. 96% on Kanimani, and Anna's just secured the first round. Price kind of didn't go uh, Johnny Cage, because Johnny looks a little filthy with Janet. I mean, as expected, you know, the Cage is having synergy together with it. How it is. Yeah, when Connie's the villain of this top eight, not he using is. Janet at all. <laughs> And of course, Kani is one of the I favorites at the same time, but Anas, this man is really putting in some work right now. I saw this man stream, I think for the last three hours, he was in the lab non-stop, labbing Janet. And I mean, it paid off so far. Very impressive first round. Trying to stagger, but I mean, and she can't really open you up without having Sento out. So you just block low, you'll be fine. Oh, we can come up from that? Beautiful. Just use it as a little reset. And armoring through that. Kani Mani waking up with violence. Very close round. Kani has access to Fatal now. Trying to play the neutral. It goes out. This is where uh, That's most it. people lose. Oh, yeah. Not quite. That ship. 
But there is the chip sequence. Kanimori saving his fatal blow. In that case, was the right decision? Fight. There we go. We get the little uh, Janet call for the Sento. Is that the most Kani's going to use Janet for? No floss block, no punish. Waiting for something to come back. But no. Oh, we might see a burger here. Up oh, is swinging. He missed the second helping hand. Oh, he gets caught. Oh, it's pressure time. At the back dash, maybe? Jumps around? Wait. Uh, Wait, no, got hit all of it. Armor not active yet. And Anas is losing that first round. Connie Money ending it with Scythe. Brutality. Can she win? You can confirm as well off of that forward four. I'm seeing people in the chat saying, nice Sento, <laughs> but where, where's <laughs> Janet? Where's, where's Janet? And Korn, Use Janet once, chat, just once, just once. And I see that first time message from Korn saying, daily YouTube watcher, first time watching on Twitch, keep up the great work. Korn, first of all, thank you so much for subscribing here to our Twitch channel, helps tremendously. And second of all, welcome to the live arena. Hope you enjoy your stay. And yeah, I, I think live is always a little bit different, you know, perhaps than, than watching it later on on YouTube. So I'm super happy that so many people decided to tune in today for our Janet Top 8, close to 600 people in the chat after this semi-finals. I think when you're live, you get the raw experience, you know, you get to see what, like, you get to experience with the chat, you know, you see all the reactions and everything. It, it, it is a pretty cool experience, I would say. If you can watch the stream live anytime, you should. And it is wild to see how many people lately are tuning in from the YouTube side, right? Who find us there and then decide, you know what, let's, let's just say hello in the live chat. Always makes my day. Beautiful. Oh, he jumps. Doesn't go for the full combo, though. Tries the negative edge jump across. I know what he's doing here, but the thing is, Anna seems to be prepared for that. The reversal. Oh, caught him right that. out of it. Money, money tried to press. Doesn't have access to breaker. That's going to be the round. Yeah, is that the new tech versus Kenshi reversal nut punch from Janet? Because that was... It is kind of like an invulnerable on reversal. And it, he won the trade. <laughs> That was smart. I like that. I'm seeing people in chat notice that saying go. That was smart. I know it was pretty crazy. No punish. You get from that. You get from that. He, he could have extended it maybe. Sneaking in the low. Sadly, uh, yes, yeah, but sadly, I think Havoc is one of the few characters that can't really punish and she's zoning that consistently. So, nice catches the back dash. Good jump in from Anna. That's gonna be a huge one. Hurts. You get a double gen it. Oh, I like the little reset. Yeah, that reset goes into projectile, goes into push frames, and pressure. Beautiful stuff from Anas. Anas has Maybe. always been one of the most technical Havoc, Havoc players. We have very decent tournament results as well. Super happy to have him back in these events. We haven't had Anas on stream or in our tournaments, I think, for a few months now. And he returned, I think, in the last week. And what can I say, Fabs? Look at the boy. We get some crazy conversions with the Havoc. But I mean, yeah, uh, Anas has been... He's proof of that even if a character can be bottom one, bottom two, if you work hard with it, you'll still be able to, you know, make some people sweat and uh, get some games. So, <laughs> definitely Compaid. interesting. Compaid is saying, if Kalimani uses Janet once next round, I'll drop 30 euro. <laughs> the chat is trying to force Kalimani to use the new cameo. Yeah, he does use it, but it's like just for one conversion. That's all. That's all. That's all he does. And BJ, thank you so much for the six euro and ninety cents here towards today's prize pool. Fifty-eight percent already crushed by this community. Top one payout, so we have a little reward for the winners today. 
Yeah, trust me, you can get like a 40% BNB with uh, Kenshi and Janet, but he's using it for that little punch at <laughs> the 40 plus center. That's all he's doing. But you, but you can get like a 40 off of that if you want. Good jump. Over. Conversion. Beautiful. Oh, I'm loving how he's exploiting the gaps with the reversal. Uh, not funny. Uh, blender time. Still out. The center in action. It is how it is. Here if you're in the sandwich, focus. you're a victim. Round two. <laughs> Fight. Trying to close the gap somehow. Tries to shimmy. I like that little back that she tried. He's moving. I like the extension. Of the Wait, we get next breaker. Set up. We get next breaker. See how Connie reacts to it. Ooh, Connie was just pressing violently there. Whip punish. Does that count as a good use? Janet. <laughs> One little hit. It's, I mean, on paper it was. <laughs> the friendly tab the, this the Janet we got there. Wait a minute. And this can still bring it back. Tento active for one more mix. Oh yeah, this is over. And we get the Bruno just because he, he <laughs> Talent. Carney, Marnie, and Compe is saying, you know what? That single Janet combo was enough. Thank you so much for the 30 euro donation, Compe. Thank you so much for having the players back tonight and for offering them a little prize pool to compete for. You guys are amazing. A big shout out to the best community out there. Old Flame resubscribing as well, saying here again to give my support. Your content is some of the easiest ways I get through my workday, always giving me some top quality matches to watch. All Flame and everyone else here, thank you so much for yeah making these events so fun for us as well on the commentary side. I think perhaps you agree with me when I say it would only be half as fun without this chat here every day. Round one. Of course. Fight. This chat is what makes uh, the live reaction and everything not fun for us, but also fun for everybody else in chat. You know, the whole experience just creates a great environment for everybody. It's beautiful. Just like that, we are only 13 euro away from crushing that 100 euro prize pool for today's winner. Thank you guys so much for the support. Kani, Mani, that can she? Round two. Fight. And she's doing no work, man. People do say that you don't need a camp with Kenshi. I mean, these allegations might be real. Flawless spot from Anos. Is it going to be another game five or is Kani securing his spot in the semi finals? He's really solid with it. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We haven't seen a single Janet Brutal. So if you're watching the stream and you play next, please give us a Janet Brutality. Please feed us. Good interrupt. Oh, he knows the gap. Yeah, he does. Oh, wait. Oh, he breaks the armor. Doesn't get the conversion, though. Sandwich applied. And the mix is here. I think if he exits it, he can kill. He can kill. And perhaps the goal has officially been crushed by the Pumping Gym Red in the chat. Pumping Gym Red, thank you so much. And Kani Mani secures his spot in the semifinals. Can she yeah, Kani advances with the emotional support, Jenna. Just there, just, just giving him a little love tab before the combos. But hey, that's how Kenshi works. You know, it's mostly Sento. But yeah, let's see if uh, he brings us, you know, Johnny Janet after. Or if he um, keeps up with this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And now we have a good matchup. We have a, a good matchup. A great matchup. Here. You guys know it. This the king of all general Shao players is in this top eight once again. We're talking about video games, yo. Who is going to meet Raven Lina now in that Ooh. fight for grand finals? Two phenomenal players with insane tournament results in MK1's lifespan. But there can only be one tonight since this is single elimination all the way through. Good luck to both. I hope the chat enjoys the action so far. Thank you for being here.
Janet Cage. Janet Cage. Hanging Gardens. Outworld will close ranks against you. Support for you. Here we go. I mean, this, you know, I think I think Raven Lena had the most hype set so far we've had in this stream. Oh, definitely. So, Raven every Lina time we Raven Lena in. There was a blockbuster. Yes, yes that's. So by by the laws of of uh, matchups, this should be an even hype for the trophy. Oh, and we get that into reaction from BTY immediately. Oh, he labbed. He was labbing. <laughs> <laughs> Off of the axe conversion. Oh, yeah, reminder, these players have been labbing since they played in round one, so they're getting even better with time. Oh, again, the armor into... Get it. It launches. Wow. Black. Are you ready for this? Were you ready Fine. for this? A little bit of neutral. Sweep great. A little bit distant. We see a lot of players using sweeps in MK in general just as a neutral reset. Yeah, gives you space and on hit you kind of get a, your turn back. You know, really good. Oh my! Are we setting two in a row? Oh, wait, the fan got beat by the bat. I'm gonna steal that tech. That's interesting. And how minus is that nut punch on the block? It I doesn't like look that minus at all, to be honest. Hold on, let me see the minus. No, it's minus, it's minus six. I just saw, of course, I had pictures of it. Shout out to Faisal for sending me all the oh. frames. It's minus six, and Rother is looking for a big. Yeah. Oh my. Meanwhile, BGY going crazy. So you're telling me that proximity OS. It's a safe it is safe thing. Beautiful stuff. I like the way oh, how wow. BGY is using that all the time. Hmm. Plus 34 on hit and it's minus six on block. Oh, I like this. <laughs> the good the thing is these cameras are now. Gotta go ahead. I, I was just about to say, since I see Rotha typing in the chat, don't forget everyone. After this, Rotha versus Kani Mani for this spot in Grand Finals, the never-ending rivalry. War will not help them, oh man, yeah, Rotha and Kani, the, the, the young gods in this game. Round one, fight. Over, I think you can combo into Janet off of that armor. Come on. Give us that. Beautiful. Breaker available for GY. Doesn't break. Okay. Confidence. Plus. Throw combos off of that. Reminder that the trap into it is just how it is. Raven Lina, no we're cooking anymore. right now. Over there in that corner. Drop that Janet assist. Oh, but you guys not pressing. You scared it. No, this is crazy. Yo, that Jover. Wait, this could be a uh, Jover. We can hit it. Beautiful combo. One more sequence. VGY, what's the rub? Wait, what? Excuse the me. The wall up and goes for the projectile. Stop. The skirmish is mine. Round that Jenna wall is pretty much like Fight. just puts your opponent in the corner. Like you can't really move forward. You have to jump it. So it's <laughs> so funny. I swear Man. to God, once video game Zero has that momentum for him, it is so hard to stop him. Raw axe drop. Loves comboing that armor into Janet. Pretty strong uh, goal there from Shao. Look at video games, yo, just dancing. You're in neutral, forward dash, back dash all the time, looking for these openings. Yeah, that, yeah, that Janet wall has two hits. <laughs> T-Baggins, thank you so much so. for the support, man. And once again, the new Shao BNB standing to proximity OS into Janet Fabs. BGY on match point. Wins.
I don't know how VGY is always so consistent in these day one tournaments. Very impressive. General Shock, Kitana, Janet Cage, Janet Cage, the Gateway. There are many outworlders who've been left behind. War will not help them, General. <laughs> Man, Fabs, this, this shit is hype Round as hell, bro. Fight. <laughs> I mean, I always like seeing new options and new, like, uh, concepts when people have these new DLC characters, and this is exactly what we signed up for. It's exactly what we're here watching. That's what we want to see, especially oh, yeah. in these day one tournaments. Armoring out of the pressure is Raven Lina. Go, back grab. Now, what's for dinner? Just Raven has no fear by pressing that, by the way. Not your turn yet. VGY in the driver's seat. Still going. Three setting chains in a row. And wait, wait. Death? Wait. I think try to go okay. for a little setup. Punish. Oh, VGY is ready. Now, wake up armor, but drops it, though. And Sweet. raw reaction time, bringing that reward. VGY Round on three two. point. Fight. Perhaps I don't want to make you nervous, but we have close to 600 people in the chat with us. Thank you guys so much for deciding to tune in here today. You guys are amazing. And so are our players, by the way. We're all shaking here together. Full string. I love how VGY or reset neutral, just that sweep, you know, doesn't know what to do, just a sweep. We're all, we're all safe after this. 80% nice. on VGY, only 20% on Raven Lina. Oh yeah, VGY is not getting opened up by anything right now. Brick wall, plus 34 and hit. I have that nut punch. Having the upper hand in that encounter, and this, I'm not sure if he can actually... Wait. 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 He traps it to go for the brutal. For the brutal. For the brutal. Finish him. Oh, doesn't have it. Video games, yo. And of course, we see another Janet. Fatal. Spot in Fatal grand final secured. General VGY, you are an absolute wins. monster. Yeah, did that throw do 16% damage or am I tripping? This is, I mean, I expected this tournament to be super entertaining, not gonna lie. When I saw the signups, when I saw the names and the players, but I didn't expect that here, Fabs. And I'm, I mean, I'm happy about it. Rotha versus Kanimani is our next matchup. Do you guys think we see Kanchi again on Kani's end? Maybe, I mean, that's, that's a villain attempt. Is Kanimani going to win this tournament with barely using Janet? Is that even allowed, Fabs? Do we have some special rules for that uh, in place? People in chat, and this is how, this is how Kanimani does things. You know, He's like, I can win this without using <laughs> Janet. And he goes for Kenji. Kanimani is just trying to, you know, to buy a new Montclair jacket with our arena prize pool money here. <laughs> literally, man, literally. No, but Rother knows how to play against Kenshi for sure. Especially Kenshi without cameo? Like, Rother's gonna have a field day with that, you know? Rother already in the lobby with us. VGY secured for that spot in Grand Finals. Let's take a look at the chat prediction. Who do you guys have? 83% on Kanimani right now. Oh, this might be a surprise. If Kani still continues to not use... Uh, a cameo would just go solo on his own. Rother might have a way to get around that. You, you remember, he, he plays Quan, also plays Shang. So, yeah. I heard he has a ball cap. Guys, I moved to a different continent, okay? <laughs> my bag, I don't even have, I don't even know where my bag went to. <sighs> I, I, I'm just glad I have my computer and my monitor and everything here. That's all I'm, I'm glad about. Like, I have a whole bag that I, it's gone missing. And Oops. Players that are in the lobby. Let's take a look. Peacemaker. What's gonna happen? Kanimani is oh, bringing peacemaker. Wait, 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 wait. 
pick striker accidentally. <laughs> the muscle memory was there. The muscle memory, I was about to say the same. <laughs> Janet Cage. Oh, I love Janet this. Janet Cage. Wait, it's Frankel? Shao will have to do without a hydromancer. He will not reign. Round one, fight. And Mr. Aquaman in the chat saying showed up at the right time. Aqua, welcome, brother. Nice to see you. Ani again, the villain. He's gonna deny you, Shannon. He's gonna zone. He's gonna zone. Oh, wait. First team video. That's the Villain. Pure. We might have to have like a new villain tier list of the arena and have Kani Mani up here. Kani Mani single handedly trying to bring our YouTube viewership down, Fabs. <laughs> Rotha getting clipped by all these shurikens. We know how strong that Reiko zoning is. I would be so annoyed right now. I would be so annoyed right now. There we go, toilet flush. But like, he has barely any health left. That is beautiful. No combo. Try to go for the reset. Delayed. Wake up on Kani's ass. And the zoning is gonna secure the first round. Kani wants that match versus video round games, yo, in grand finals. Fight! Hey, no cameo, no problem. Who needs Janet? Oh, it's nice. Get back, Dash. <laughs> Run away from him. Oh, man. If, if Rother takes a game, we're going to see the craziest teabag in the history of teabags. 100%. But Rotha, he is trying to close the gap, but it looks so rough because, first of all, Kani has very, very decent uh, movement, and then that zoning non-stop. Funny enough, Janet also gets a zone because she has, like, a projectile and a wall in her Sento Mimic Stance type thing, and this villain is, is a villain. I, I wonder if you put a mic on Rotha's mic right now, what would he say? <laughs> Kani... <laughs> Connie is just here to grab the money and dip fabs. That's literally his only mission. Next time he signs up for this, you have to, you have to ask him, show me a BNB using that cameo. Otherwise, have, you're not joining. We have someone in the chat saying, I'll donate 100 euro if someone unplugs Connie Money's internet. Please. This guy is evil. Very evil. Oh, I love this community. I would go Shang. Or like, or like Quan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Shut Fight Quan evil with evil. You would have had a place this might be the most cursed Quan matchup of all time. I, I know exactly why I'm speaking Quan Chi. You can start counter zoning him with the skulls Fight. and stuff. Portals? No portals. Oh, he tried it. Standing four, standing four. Yes. Yeah, and that EX skull, if you don't know, by the way, it literally eats up your projectiles. So this, on paper, is a counter hit. <laughs> Ani getting a good taste of his poison. I can't, I can't with our chat here. Compaid, who donated so much to the prize pool today, saying, I didn't pay 75 euro to watch this. <laughs> Saving the day, showing us that. You know, if you lab the Janet, you get, you get your reward. Round does have Quan Chi combos as well. Yeah, I think. But Rosa, wait a minute, we're answering back. Still going. Rosa looking quite decent. Going to fear. Good punish. Taking away in that punish. Bro, they're trying to extend his zoning there. Gotta be careful. Gotta use something really fast. And there we go. The skull. It's a trade. Bag. Bag. <laughs> oh, he did it. Oh, no. He's not in the bag. He's going to brutal. <laughs> Rotha is sending a statement Quan chat. One. One. But I have the feeling we might see a character switch from Kani. Probably. I mean, he, he, he knows his whole cast inside out.
Let's take a look at our final chat prediction in this one. I see more than 500,000 channel points on Kanimani. 82% of the community think that he's gonna win this. And there is the character switch I expected. Kanimani is. Never mind. I was about to say Liu Kang, but we are bringing Johnny. The Fire Temple. That a simpleton like you could help foil our plan. Says a lot about how good it was, doesn't it? Round one. The Cage Fire. Family reunion. Yes, you're right, chat. <laughs> I mean, Johnny does have some good synergy with Janet, but I don't think Kadi Mani is here to show that. He's here to show how broke Johnny is by default. Oh, that place would have been cool. Oh, just armoring. I can tell. Stay back, Mr. Johnny. Oh, he's yeah, evil for the rest. Rotha, look at his neutral. I love the way he's getting these openings. If, if, if Rotha can play like, a keep away game, like, yeah, if he can play that annoying keep away game where, like, you constantly trying to, like, approach him, he, he loves it. He will definitely win, doesn't matter who you are. He will hurt you. Yo, what is this? It's a portal as well. Oh, but that almost punished. Good turn. Be nice about it. The wall. Oh, that wall was so evil because he can't get past it unless he jumps. Don't know who's here. One oh, with the Janet has that so much energy right now. That from Rotha. He expected Kali to press out of that. And another back to back brute, Kani Mani, one of the best players in the world, feeling the pressure. Rotha is on match point. Fabs, is it gonna be another character switch? Let's see, let's see. It's looking scary here for Kani right now because Rotha did find the, the, the way to, you know, to keep away Kani in that sort of sense, you know. He, I mean, Kani went into zone initially, Rotha, but he was like, you know what? I'm gonna zone you now. Chat, since we just cracked the 600 viewer mark, I want to see some else. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the arena. And now let's go crazy. Rotha on match point. Kani bringing his away. third character. You won't Luke. punish me as you did Shujinko. Can Rotha make it? Round one, fight. <laughs> Good punish, little micro duck. Our chat is going crazy, and so is Rotha. So much momentum in the back. Yo, it's crazy. Luffy's in the counter zone. The Quan. Oh, and Rotha is like, I don't want to really take my turn. I'm just going to walk back and see you with. Oh, we punished the it. The same sequence again. Look at Rotha. Tony is trying to get his turn. Rother is like, no, this is my game. This is my game, baby. Oh, no, no punish. And the air scroll does it. Yo, Rother, Rother. Hello. I don't know what happened to him, but that Quan Chi switch, it honestly worked out so well for him. Fighting evil with evil. What a reaction on that low fireball. Poke special. Meter. This is all Rotha right now. <laughs> Perhaps, what, is, what is happening with Rotha? The wall now. The wall. You can't do anything against it. I told you guys, no, this is the best it. Quan Chi in the entire world right now. No. No. That's it. Rotha. No. Finish him. Yo, yo, Rotor. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say anymore. This was one of the craziest Rotor performances I have seen in a while, Fabs. I, I, I told you, whenever you have to approach Rotor, when he's playing his peak 
keep away play style. It is so hard to get through him. This kid is insane. And just like that, every single one of you in the chat, the moment you have been waiting for. Grand final time. Rotha Great. is gonna meet our day one tournament champion, Video Games Yo, in a final first to three showdown for a 100 euro prize pool. Who is gonna take it, Fabs? Oh, this is gonna be crazy. All I can say at this point is good luck to both. And now let's see who is gonna take this. Is Rotha gonna bring Quan Chi now from the beginning? I see Rain. He goes Return back to, to Rain side. again. Pay the price. You can't I think he only picked Quan as a countermeasure to, to, to Connie, you know, but he truly labbed at Janet with his rain, for sure. The, the, the back throw combos and all the setups he has is definitely a rain specialty from him. A big shout out to 630 people live with us on Twitch. Man, you guys are amazing. Wow, Fiji was respecting the zoning from Rotha. It's exactly what I, you know, predicted uh, could happen on this matchup. Oh, that slow overhead catch from Rotha. Oh, wait. Back throw. Triple Janet. Give me that. One, two. Beautiful. Rotha securing the life leads. Overhead reset, but Fiji Y, great defense. The shimmy. Yo, baiting those buttons from Vigil. Oh, he does that again. The mimic sense after the, the throw. He drops it though. It's been beautiful. It's been great. But Vigil finds his escape. Oh, brother, your health is gone. 14% grab. Why not? And then we have Oki. He doesn't care about the Oki. Brother, just messing. Yo, Rip, who takes this? Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Video Games Yo takes the first round, but he had to fight for it. And the chat is saying this is an amazing tournament. I'm so happy that you guys out there enjoy it. QI goes to the safe move, the long safe moves ever to get that round. Delicious. Oh, the cancels. This is the matchup where I feel like Shao can't just throw out his standing through like that. I mean, against Brother especially, this guy is not falling for it. Looking for that back one mid. That grab does damage. Out to out. VGY is quicker. Yeah, that's the wall. Beautiful. We get a throw combo from this. Okay, she doesn't have one. Alright, so I'm labbing. I'm labbing through other people. Punish. This could be it. This sequence, he needs one more to win. Drop, but still has it. What's the reach? Proximity OS, minus six, safe on block, don't forget it. Try to armor through it, pays the price for it. Cancel. Rother with the right decision. Fabs, I can't do this anymore. This, is, this is too much for my hard chat. A little out of range to get the kill. PGY tries to get the, this round the same way he got the last round by going for armor. Oh. Nah, we were micro ducking. One hit. Let's see. It's 47. It doesn't even look like a 47 combo. This is just a <laughs> sleeper damage. Team. Decent blocks. Pressure. Sponsored by Rotha. Tries to go for another Shim Jim. Vigiwai seems to be the only person so far going for those Janet throws. 14%. Oh, that is so oh, good. Plus no Janet there. Block, by the, the way. Armored option. Shao gets access to when the X is on the ground. And speaking of armor, here it is. Rotha in trouble. There is the low. He <laughs> gambled it all on that overhead. Wow. EGY seems to be good. And is the day one tournament winner going to win this day one as well? 
VGY might be the final boss of day one tournaments. Who is gonna win over this man? This guy's the god of day ones. Grand finals and VGY is up 1 0. Is it Quan Chi time? No, no Cage. switch yet. Janet Cage, Wu Shi Academy. We lost, General. The war's over. That was just the opening skirmish. <laughs> Round one, fight. Look at this chat prediction for us. It is basically a 50-50 at this point. Two phenomenal players going crazy. I love when the grand finals are 50-50. This is how it is. The scary part here is that like the foreground is doing 14% and the back throw from Rain doing 22%. It's like you always gonna take back, which means you can always take the forward throw all the time. Which really strong character in my opinion. Oh, you did that right into wow, the throw? VGY. The confidence right now. VGY is feeling it. Another 14%. <laughs> And it's also plus 15 on a hit. <laughs> this is... Oh, he would have converted that. Did you see the down one he squeezed in? <laughs> Ready for that. It's Cinder. No, Cinder Five. is going crazy tonight. Mid grand finals as well. He's hyped. Entertained. Oh, we got the mimic wall there. The chat, they want Watch that late night game. hype train in grand finals. Thank you for the support, everyone. Interesting trade. Seven seconds. VGY knows it. There is the standing two. Rotha expected oh, yes. the backdash. But VGY is saying, I'm not running Round away, bro. Two. Fight. The king of proximity OS is when you have to approach VGY, that's standing two into whatever safe button he has to follow it up. We will come out. Yo, what the fuck? 40. Jenna is giving people like sleeper damage. Like since when is, is Rain doing 42% damage? Oh, even that full screen conversion as well. He'll take it. Oh, bro, they're not blocking a wake up. Look at all these overheads sponsored by VGY. Another one. Oh. How is he getting away with this? Yo, the silence of the place is so loud! <laughs> oh, that, is, there we go. that is just insane what VGY is doing right now. I am so impressed. I know I said that several times throughout this tournament. But man, the boy is cooking. And so is Cinder in the chat. Thank you guys so much for the support tonight. Here, not only for the players, but of course for the arena as well. Thank you for the donations towards the prize pool. Thank you for the resubscriptions, gifted subs. You guys name it. The best community ever, Fabs. Truly, the best community ever. Potential last Janet round. Cage. And here Janet is the Cage. last potential the switch from Rotha as well. Crunchy we time. Solve a problem like Molino? I'll strike her with a moonbeam from my hand. Round one. Fight. There we go, Rotha. Going with the Quan. Even though his reign was literally performing like crazy, but she's a VGY like it's on a different output right now. Look at the Oh, all these zones Look at the waste. gravity, but video, video games, was aware of that. Doesn't really overcommit. Oh, wait. I feel like Rother accidentally might have just found, like, the best keep away team that he could have. Oh, but no armor. Oh, did you I knew the armor was on, so he just went for the throw. Smart. They can make it, but why not? I'm Rotor, I can do it. So, we saw this work on Connie. Are we gonna see this work on VGY as well? Going. Oh, we go in. oh wow, this is, this is a rip. How do you even approach this med? 
Babs, don't ask me. I'm honestly trying to find answers. I'm trying to take notes here. This show is just out of this world. Yo, Rotha can take this unless BGY clutches it. There's the standing four. Good stuff on Rotha. That's any four jailed after the big skull. So that was like, you had to block, block it to survive it. I don't even think that's possible. There we go. Dude, that's standing four from Hanshi. That full screen kick, you get punished heavily. Oh. Big burger. Oh, this that is one way oh. to avoid that overhead. Try to delay mix. The Rother is just gonna armor, he doesn't care. Armor, still on Rother one more time. He's gonna keep pressing, he's gonna keep pressing. Yeah, and VGY knows and he just backs away. Oh, the armor didn't reach Rother yet. I think Rother tried to put the portal, it's on his waist, wow. give him armor on like. Fight. Blank range, but if you I knew that it wasn't close again, same situation. Video MCO on tournament point. How many people have matchup knowledge against Quan Chi? Not many. He's one of them. Oh, the drops, Rotor. A little nervous. Well, even in the corner, he tries to go for it. Oh, that move has been winning so many games. Our armor into Janet from BGY in the Look corner. This is resets too. Overhead, yep, too much gravity here. We have fatal, we have fatal, we have fatal. He Dating just it. did it on block. He has armor around, that's why he's doing it. He's Punish. so fearless when he ever has the armor. That's gonna kill. He's he gonna kill. Rosa. Oh. This is not over. This set is far from over. Rip. I don't even know what to say anymore. Rotha is staying alive, securing another round. Massive Noodle is saying, you know what? Let's get another hype train started. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Chat, can we get some noise in here? Let's have a little party. Janet Cage, release day. It is the most, like, I feel top eight days for release are beautiful. <laughs> People are asking, why didn't he pick Quan Chi in the beginning? I feel like Rother discovered that Quan Chi is strong midway through this tournament. So I'm saying he accidentally found out that it's actually strong Janet with Janet. So he's just letting it rock now. Living forest. For both our sakes, we must resolve This match is far away from are over. Just sense? imagine we get a game five fight. here in Grand Finals. Round game five four, Grand Finals for like a hundred. This is literally a money match right now. They're playing for the top, for the prize right now. And we get sh one versus Shao. Like, how unlikely. This is the most EU set ever. <laughs> you don't see it. Oh, what a weapon punish. The way he converts oh, that, that armor. Yeah, I think that that's the discovery of the day. If you would tell me, like, like, what situations I I've liked the most here, I would say Melina. Amazing with Janet and also Shao is definitely amazing. Go oh, the triple the triple tentacle pause. <laughs> Minus six. And then standing four, but no real follow-up from Rotha this time. Oh that zone of fear. I feel like Rother is good at keeping you there. You know, just keeps you away from him. He's Oh my, again, and Janet helps out so much. The only person using that minute wall this often is him, is him. Armor. It's kind of like he's looping. <gasps> that is good. Portals from Ooh. I think minute. he's looping those portals from Quan Chi. I think Rotha, he should have played Quan Chi throughout the entire tournament. This character is so strong. I mean, in my opinion, he is the best Quan Chi in the entire world. But I think he found this team was good midway to last time against Kanye Maybe Mani. That's right how he found that. out yes. the team was kind of busted. 
is what I love about this top eight. You know, people are discovering things mid tournament set. Like, this is how it is. And we might have a game five leaning heavily towards Rother with this instant, like, insane momentum shift. Yes, he definitely has the momentum. Did you see the upload? <laughs> taking notes right now. This is your moment, Rother. This is your time. Who the oh, proximity OS is that physical? Like, beautiful. Oh, zone of fear, the zone of universe. power, and then, and then the mimic wall. It's like he's looping the cooldowns from everything. Just to keep you away. Clean with punish. Growth waking up with violence. Gets the jail right after. We need a chip. We need to throw anything. He kill from Rotha right now. The mimic wall. The chip damage. He's going all in. No, Rotha. The zone of fear now. Rotha, you have to relax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the way he's handling the cooldown of Janet with the portals, and he's just keeping VGY away forever. We might have discovered, like, one of the craziest keep away teams ever. The synergy here with Rothas, Quan Chi, and Janet is straight up through the roof. And for one last time today, I want the entire chat to go crazy. Spam as many emotes as you can. Rotha versus VGY is going the full distance. We get a final round in Grand Finals. This is honestly one of the most entertaining tournaments we hosted in a while. Thank you guys so much for being here. And now it's gonna get loud. Let's press that magic button one more time, Fabs. Here we come. Peace, man. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Everybody in the right now is so hyped. Even if you're watching from YouTube, this is a game number five in the Grand Finals. But we go. Peacemaker. Peacemaker. Eagly maker. Force field maker. Anti gravity maker. It's him. John Cena. Eagly. Eagly. versus the Peacemaker. Eagly. The big finale. You tell VGY the double Eagly is a glitch right now or what? <laughs> oh, the reversal. He's teching? Armor. Oh, but VGY knows the armor is on. The only thing it loses is a grab. Look at the right. Smart. The conversion. Stickweed. Does VGY. I feel like he's playing a Connie Money. He doesn't know the conversions with Janet with Peacemaker, but he's picking because Peacemaker's is broke, right? I think that's the decision making behind it. He's defending his top one throne. Oh, top eight. He's day one tournament. Rotha again Portal has the life lead. The first time I'm seeing Peacemaker get zoned. Eagle. Peacemaker though, any mix into Fatal, kills right now. Force field. Oh. 2-2. Two, two. Rotha respecting everything. Oh no, that's gonna- Wait, what? Nico. What? No! no. I don't have the right words for this anymore. I'm done. Did you guys knew that Rother was gonna fold the overhead? He's fatal. Oh. Round two. You can have torpedo as well, but he's going to fatal. And again, that armor offered by the portal gives Rothos a little bit of freedom at least. Oh, the unsafe mix, and that literally was so tempting to press. VGY I could not resist. Oh, still oh, catching so those recovery frames. Brother. Ever. Man, this is insane. Wait, VGY still answering oh, back. Not over yet. Tries to shimmy. Rotha has to be careful. One combo is going to do it. No breaker inside for both of them. <laughs> Fabs, I can't. Fabs, I can't do this anymore. He literally microducts right under it. Crazy. Crazy. 
This is so intense. I'm on the edge of my seat. Rotha has decent life and security in the last round of this tournament. Eagle, literally final round, final round. This is too much for an old man like me. Eagly versus Portal. Oh, man. And you can hear blocking score makes it fun to block. Every single threat right now is going to be in Rotha's favor. Wait. Did you buy cooking big damage? We know what Peacemaker can do in the corner. I think that Quan is able to bring the portal close to him as Wait. he's getting hit. Are you crazy? No way he armored through it. Goes for the grab. Both of them one touch away from death. What's the follow-up here? Rotha. Eagly blocks it. Ballsy jump in. Poke special. Standing. Rotha takes it. No. Finish him. No. I am gone. I am actually gone from this tournament. This is it. Rotha. The best Quan Chi in the entire world wins his first day one tournament in the arena and that means video games yo streak has been broken by the young prodigy what was that he dethroned <laughs> the, the the mr day one he did mr day one he dethroned them Fabs, I Bro, honestly... they're literally adapting <laughs> with his quan chi i honestly have to say everyone um, wow first of all thank you so much for being here today thank you so much for spending time with us on janet cage release day and on a second note here this was one of the most fun tournaments we ever hosted on this channel in my personal opinion we saw so many different characters so much variety so many great combos fabs this was a personal highlight for me i hope you guys enjoyed it along the way here and fabs it was just great to have beautiful. you back on the mic as well brother um, I'm, I'm so happy I returned for this for this greatness right here. This was a beautiful top eight, beautiful performance from everybody. Yep. Thank you for having me. So, wow, just, just delicious. And as always, the last thing we are going to do here in the arena is send you guys over to another great content creator. And us who competed here in today's event is streaming right now. So be nice in the chat and we are going to be back very, very soon. Thank you for the support today. Have a wonderful evening and stay safe out there. Bye bye.